a peaceful lake in a small neighborhood in suburban South Carolina. A quiet picnic spot where neighbors can silently paddle across the water, feed the passing turtles, or learn to fish. And even the geese walk all the way up to the side of the house. A place that anyone would find idyllic on your typical lazy summer afternoon. But at 2.38 p.m. this particular afternoon, everything will change. We are now in the moments of darkness, where the sun is receding behind the moon. The last total solar eclipse to pass over North America was in 1979. Since then, there have been several eclipse events that came close, but nothing like the once-in-a-lifetime occurrence that brought people young and old together for a few cosmic moments. Well, what a perfect weekend and what a perfect way to start off a work week than by blocking out the sun in an historic event. You know, here in Greenville, even the school children are taking part of the day off. So we've got quite a few people here that are enjoying it at Brighton Lake. Pardon me, sir. Tell us, sir, how long has it been since you've experienced anything like this? I haven't. So it's your first time, a once in a lifetime experience. That's for sure. Are you excited? Yes, I am. And I see you've got your sun catcher yes, eclipse I glasses. <laughs> got to keep those eyes safe, right? I do, I sure do, even at my age. A 70-mile-wide strip stretching from Oregon to South Carolina became America's main street for a day. Sales of eclipse glasses, camera equipment, and even picnic supplies literally paralyzed some online vendors, and it seemed that everyone within a day's drive of the path of totality was finding the perfect spot to look skyward. Brighton Lake, Greenville, South Carolina, just about 30 miles from the center line of the total solar eclipse. We've got parties in the background, kayakers in the foreground, a beautiful setting for the path of totality. You can risk taking shots of this with a phone if you have insurance, but you don't want to risk anything that you plan on keeping. So if you're going to take a look at the sun, be sure you do so safely. While many said that smartphones would not capture the images or that the sun's rays would harm the device, a few were willing to risk it. And it is now going to get dark and my mother is going to record all of the events. Okay. Um, yes, come here. Get your glasses. And afterward, as the sky returned to normal, traffic out of the eclipse zone became a whole other story. In one two-minute look at the heavens, millions checked one more item off a bucket list, and a few people in one small town would never be the same. Reporting from Greenville, South Carolina, I'm Tony Prado.